There are a lot of people that'll give you a lot of different opinions about what the most important thing is that you have on your person at all times if you're a prep stutter. I want to give you one that I would say is a non-negotiable for every person in your family. Stay tuned because in the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about one of the top three things every one of us should be carrying at all times. Don't go away. Are you ready for it? Here I come, I'm gonna pull it out of my purse. <laughs> it's probably not what you had in mind, but literally I believe this is one of the most important pieces of prepping gear every one of us should have on us at all times. And thankfully, it's also one of the least expensive things that you'll spend money on for your whole family. And no, I don't have any endorsement from any company. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just want you to understand the concept of the Mylar blanket. Let me show you what I'm talking about now. This literally, oh, I'd say has a good 100 uses or more, 100 uses or more that you could use it for in prepping. I'm gonna just talk about maybe 20 of them today. But the first one that we all know about and think about is that emergency blanket that we've heard of even since our childhood that is supposed to be so good in an emergency for reflecting heat, right? Let me unfold this and show you. That little tiny blanket folds out into a great big size. So all of a sudden, the wind that was blowing against me has stopped and my body is warmer right on the other side of this blanket, even as I'm standing here right in this moment showing this to you. Reflecting heat and light are two of its most commonly recognized properties. However, we don't think outside the box to realize that reflecting heat and light can take many different forms. So let me tell you just about a few of them. Of course, we would wrap it around us in an emergency. With the most reflective part of it toward my body, I'm able to reflect a huge amount of my body heat right back to myself. So if it was cold outside, and it is a little chilly today, it keeps me warmer automatically. Also though, think about this. If you had snow on the ground and needed to melt snow, this is the perfect thing that could reflect light and heat to melt that snow into usable and drinkable water. It could also be used in other ways, like in a solar oven, where we line a box with it to reflect the light to make a solar oven and actually cook our food. The same properties that make it good for making a solar oven also make it be able to reflect heat such that um, we could reflect fire. So just if you had a campfire or even if you were inside and you only had a candle for warmth, to put some of this mylar behind that candle or that fire is going to reflect the heat out toward you as well as reflect the light. So you've killed two birds with one stone there on that one. It also is going to be useful if you needed to reflect heat the other direction. So say in the summertime, the windows are letting in a huge amount of warmth and you don't have an air conditioning system, you could actually tape this across all of your windows to reflect the heat outward and keep you cool inside. That's a great way to use it in an emergency in the middle of the summer. Now, as you know, it's also fantastic for shelter starting with making a great ground cover. So not only could you put it over you to keep you out of the elements like rain or snow or cold, but you could also put it on the ground to keep you warm from the coldness of the ground beneath. If you happen to be lost, think through this because this reflective material is so good at signaling. If you needed to signal to an airplane going overhead so that they could find you, or if you needed to just mark a trail as you went through the woods so that people could find you from behind uh, further up the way, it's perfect for marking a trail. If you got hurt while you were out in the wilderness, it's perfect for using as a sling. So you could 
wrap it up and put it around yourself and, and use it as a sling or even a tourniquet or you could always use it to wrap up that ankle in some sort of a makeshift splint. If you needed a belt, you could put it around your waist and cinch it up and make a good belt that way or even use it as sort of a carry-all where you put everything down in it as long as it wasn't super heavy, sling it over your shoulder and carry things that way. There are so many options it gives you. Also, you could use it almost in the same way, but to, to actually catch rainwater if you were out in the wilderness and needed to catch some of that water for drinking. All right, I hope you heard a few new ideas today. Literally, I believe this is one of the most important pieces of kit every one of us can have on our person at all times. I hope you won't waste time in getting some of your own for everybody in your family. Now. Before I see you next time, will you take the time to share this video with somebody you love? And will you make it a priority to go out and find someone to be a blessing to this week? I hope you will. God bless you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>